right, what's today's video going to be? Hmm. Let's see what the... Oh, let's, let's see what people voted on for the plain one. Guys, what is up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Holy cow, manure! You guys destroyed, I guess, the boat uh, for the A6M2. Martin XX173 has the most boats in history for a single plane for the voting series. Plane or tank? I meant to say series, by the way, not serious. He says, we haven't seen Japanese planes in a while, so how about we honor... The Emperor, that's kind of, let's say, let's just honor the Japanese planes. Uh, fly out the A6M20, very honorable. The A6, it actually was the A6M3, but I have a lot of history in flying the A6M series. More precisely, the A6M3, but they kind of performed the same, but a little bit faster than the A6M, well, 50, 40 kilometers faster. Uh, but this plane was the first one that I would take in, um... Oh, what's it called? Uh, FRB, full real battles. And that was like the old sim back in the days where you could just press go and it would put you in matchmaker. Uh, but this one was so easy to use because you would face like F F3Fs or F4Fs. And you could just turn around with them. <laughs> it was so easy. It's, it's a good training aircraft, but it gets easy after a while. But I'm sure a lot of you guys have used the A6M series. Uh, pretty much all you do is turn, turn, in turn, uh, another thing what I, that I really like about this aircraft is how you can carry your land a lot on it. Or like, the maps you get are mostly carrier based, so it, it kind of gets you a little bit more immersed into the game than just, you know, runway or army planes, but those are um, historical as well. But I just like landing on carriers, it's more fun for me. Um, however, the American players have gotten smart over the course of some years with this game. Um, it doesn't matter how amazing the turn rate or the initial pull of the zero is, the American pa pilots will just put their guns before you turn and hold the trigger down. And as you pass that burst, uh, you'll at least be there for a half a second, maybe even a second, well, pro no, probably half a second, but you'll eat about 30 to 40, 50 cows. And all those 30 to 40, 50 cows have the chance to set you on fire. And the Japanese planes are very easy at catching on fire. However, I've noticed, I think it was in my, I forgot what game it was in. Oh yeah, it was, it was in my Wyvern game. Uh, a Zero put out a fire, uh, but later, well he, he didn't later crash, we hammerhead the shit out of him. Uh, but anyways, that goes back to the initial point of, we just gotta be careful because um, flying a Zero isn't as easy as it used to be. Everyone's getting smarter. Um, and 50 cows have been buffed, but apparently they've been nerfed again. I don't fucking know, man. Someone someone needs to have a digest of this game every week. Like, what the fuck has happened? Because it changes all the time. But anyways, before we get started, guys, let's vote on the next plane. Um, let's get a little trend going on. I'm, I'm feeling a ground pounder. I'm feeling a ground pounder. Does it have to be a ground pounder, though? But that's just a initial push to the vote but guys let's go ahead and get started welcome to cockle and balls uh this is a beautiful map we're versing the russians which is gonna be so fucking easy hang on my nose is just that's not what you think it is guys come on let's just i i know you don't know who i am but you can trust me i do not do not do that but anyways let's talk about the japanese aircraft and why i love them I'm gonna say this right now, if you're if you are wanting a good nation to fly, you can't go wrong with Japan. In the early mid tiers. Later tiers, they well, in my opinion, don't really get that competitive, because they only have one top top tier tier jet jet, the F-86, F-30. Um, that one I mean that one's good. That one's like top tier, but it's only one well, okay. All I gotta say is I don't like M3 or um uh, 50 cows. It's not fun for me. You gotta spend too much time on target and bullshit. Anyways, uh, but you have the Zeros, you have the JM series, you have the Key series, you have the uh, N1K series, you have the R2Y2s. Just 
dominating planes. Very dominating. All right, we're just gonna. <laughs> this is so fucking easy. All right, let's. Uh, now who's above us? Like I'm not. I'm not even worried about people like above me because I can just out turn them. Just can I pop flaps at almost 500 kilometers? Oh my god, look at this thing. It's so quiet. It's like I don't even exist right now. This guy's going after ground targets. Here we go. We're a little bit fast here, but the plane's able to sustain it. So we got him on fire right there, and we took him down big time. My buddy behind me um, got the good clean on him. We were, we were shoulder shooting, so now, damn it, Karma got him. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, we have an I-16 here. Uh, we can easily outturn these guys. The only problem is, is can we outroll them? Oh, nice bait there, mate. Good bait, good bait. Turn it around. We got to get fast again, I believe. I think we have two guys diving down on us. Oh, it's an LE-5. Holy shit, man. Got a formation over here. <laughs> Dude, that looks awesome, man. Okay, let's let's stall for her. Oh my god. We're on attack route. He's following his buddy in. Don't know what's happening right now. I'm just, I'm just enjoying this teamwork by Blue Devil and Moe's Ace. Gotta watch out for people who might ram me here. I'm gonna follow this J2M down. Just kind of idle it a little bit here. I kind of see what's happening. Flaps. Okay, got his gear leg here. We're gonna pull off. We don't need to waste any more on him. Looks like he is going down. Good kill, J2M. <laughs> Fuck it. The nice thing about this A6M2, I've been running this engine at least on this initial climb to find out who this guy was for the last minute and a half and my engine temperature has stayed the same you gotta be really careful of that j2m engine man that thing was meant to climb and but it looks like that i-16 has so much damn energy we have a ton of energy too if, if he's gonna stall this j2m out we're gonna be right there when he comes back down look at this good luck i-16 good luck j2m oh yes i'm here wait i just want to watch this real quick Oh, let's see it, Raptor. Oh, get him, get him, dude. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Idle the engine. Twenty-one rounds left. I don't know where those twenty millimeters went. I think we hit one or two of them. Okay, turn back around here. Don't want to spray too much here. We don't want him to get behind us. We have every advantage here. So let's not ram our teammates. We're, we're, we're gonna go back up and come back down. Hey, where did that J2M go? Did he, he die? Holy shit. Twenty-one rounds. That would seem like enough ammo, but I'm just kinda worried about this sparking shit. And holy shit, these things are too damn slow! Oh, this guy is, I think, really too good with this plane. Hang on. Let's take this more seriously. There's a good bait. I got a little bit too cocky right there, but, uh, uh, Nak, uh, Nak Iri helped me out. Thank you, dude. Yeah, Raptor was definitely much more experienced in that I-16 than I uh, took him for. Good game to him, good game to our team. Except one of those... No, no, the second kill steal I didn't like. The first one I didn't mind. Alright, so we're over cock and balls again. I was really looking forward to some carrier ops, but I get... Ooh, look at this guy. Alright, got him on fire there. Aircraft destroyed. Now, where's that IL-2? I want my food. Beautiful! Tango down! Now we are on Saipan. Beautiful aircraft carrier screenshot right here. Actually, it's not. It doesn't look that cool. Maybe in the replay file. 
Um, but I think we're on the carrier. I'm not going to pronounce it, but I think it's spelled H I R Y U. So sound that out and say it to yourself because that's what this carrier is, I believe. Oh, wait, never mind. I'll try to pronounce it. The Hyru or the Hiru. Ha! <laughs> Look at all these um, uh, army planes. We got. One, two, three, four, five, six fighters up there. I, to this day, I still don't understand why they get an air spot. Especially on New Guinea. Because uh, all you gotta do is really just put a landmass parallel to the carriers. And boom, there you go. You know, everything's fair now. And someone's like, well, fly, that's not historical at all. These maps are, uh, uh, these maps really, uh, I, that's not as, I'm like, you fly with a fucking mouse and keyboard. Like, gameplay over anything in my opinion. Gameplay over anything. And from playing the Japanese today a little bit, this shit is way too easy. Now, the thing that I've noticed with these, um, uh, planes that get the air spawn is that, They'll climb about a thousand meters and then they'll just dive on the first thing they see. Look at this shit. Uh, we got three guys on a typhoon. I love watching this. This is more entertaining than uh, you know, some other things in life. Look at this. I get an air spawn, then I throw it away. I get an air spawn, then I throw it away. Oh my gosh, it's still going on. It is still going on. No one's killed anybody down there. The scary thing is, is that in real war... Uh, no, no one's dead yet. No, 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 nobody's dead yet. Pilots who actually flew these planes had less time in the cockpit than these players down here. But they did fly a real plane, but you know, it is it is it is easier to shoot people. I don't Okay, he's down. A key 27 brought him down. Alright, we're way too high for the zero. We'll just idle out we'll just chill out here, wait for our first contact. This game, in my opinion, is already over. Look at three down already. Japanese plane dominate these this BR. Now it used to be more balanced without the A7M2s that I don't see in this game right now. Uh oh, Tango left, Wellington, beautiful. You stay alive, you stay alive, you have a good bombing run. But ever since they added the J2Ms, they they took a lot- Oh, Christ me matey dude, I was just- I was relaxing here. I'm trying to talk to talk to people on the internet, and this guy's like P400. Oh, but ever since the addition of the J2Ms, a lot of the advantage has been taken out of the um, versing the Japanese, just because the Japanese are able to boom and zoom as well. So just trying to break this guy's ankles real quick. He should break engagement soon because he is going to be heavily disadvantaged now. Okay, let's just keep turning right now. We can get a shot off maybe right here. Okay, Tango down. The P400 is coming back into the battle. We got to evade that guy. He doesn't want any of this Cheetos. Nice Key 400, Key 44. Aw, oh, damn, he saw me behind him. Who's to our left? I think it's at Wellington. So, oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but our, our guns are at 150 meter convergence, which is really, really nice for close range engagements. And I'm surprised those 20s work so well right there. All right, we got a SBD Dauntless down here, smoking. We're on second run to engage behind the A6M2. Don't go for me. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Okay, we're on attack route here. Now, where is this guy going to... Okay. That J2M is going to be able to catch him. 
Look at that J2M. Dauntless is still alive, though. Okay, he's dead. Alright, we got a, the Dauntless here. Dead. Good job, everybody. That was a really hard game. I'm glad that the Japanese are balanced in this game. <laughs> It's 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 the easiest nation to play um, at this BR. The battle has commenced now. We got ooh, they have a Japanese A6M2. We're in the clouds. Engine's nice and cool. Let's pick our first target to uh, engage. Now the thing is, they can't see me up here. I can wait a second. No, they can't see me up here at all because there's no other planes higher than them. Ooh, a Spitfire took down the A6M2. Okay, now they can see me. Let's just be relaxed here. Let, let, let's take out the guy that could end my career pretty quickly. This guy. We're going way too fast to turn. They got him down. Flaps. Plane, please move. I can't see right now. Okay, two down. Let's keep that turn up. We have a high velocity. This is so easy. Boomerang. Boomerang just trying to boom us here. Now, who's above us? Cleared from the top a little bit. Holy shit. Boomerang's quick. Damn, he damaged my tail. Now, who? I can outturn him, right? I have to be able to. I'm a fucking zero. Okay, we got Spitfire here. I'm going to aid in, aid in this kill. Just kidding. Watch out for me! Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna move more into the battle over the ships here. This is getting hairy. Now, where's that boomerang at? Okay, he's behind me. We gotta keep going straight here. A little bit of tryhard coming in here. I totally just botched that shot right there, but that's okay. Flaps out. Power, power. Ooh, watch out, buddy. Okay, he's down. That was a little bit more challenging than I thought right there. We got 20 rounds left. We're going to clear out of this AO. Alright, everything's A-OK -okay here. We don't want to get targeted by those uh, destroyers. Because even though they don't have a lot of flak up right now, one of those are, is bound to hit if you loiter over this area too long. Now we have a Key 45 being chased down by a Dauntless. It's, never mind, cargo ship got him down. I am relatively surprised at how many planes the Americans and British killed with how little advantage they had this game. Because I am one of the... There's only three fighters left. I got 20 rounds. We got to take this Spitfire out. I'm just trying to go around these destroyers here. That G4M1 is back up. Okay, we're full wet. We're heading to that Spitfire ASAP. Okay, we're fast. We're faster than any of them right now. We're going to lag behind this guy. Lagging, 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 and we're on him. Now, I think we might be the only one who has 20 mil, so I want these guys to clear out so I can use these big dog rounds. Key 43, head on. Don't do that. All right, well done, guys. Well done. To the Fucking, we're like Japanese hornets, man. I swear. And that's GG. <laughs> not, not too bad, American team. Really not too bad. That will do it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Remember, in the comments below, vote on the next aircraft I take out. 
Uh, let's try to shoot for a thousand votes. I'll fucking lose my mind if that comes true. But guys, do me a favor. Have a great day. And until next time, peace out.